Oh my god, it's Arrival in Hell 2. They finally made a sequel after all these years. It's about damn time. I've been... I've been waiting for A-I-H-I-I. I mean, all the hype, it's just been palpable. You mean the I hype? The I I hype. I hi. I hi. All right, this is a long fucking game, so I have to walk through in another window because it's a long game. So did the author of this make the walkthrough, or is this some really ambitious fan? Of oh, this? I think this is an ambitious fan, or possibly a friend of the... Somebody with an inside scoop, to be oh, sure. okay. So, uh, like before, I've, I've played through Arrival in Hell 2, and Diabetes, mm -hmm. you have not... Oh, correct. Get ready for Adventure Game Nirvana. I'm excited. All Arrival right. in Hell 1 set the bar pretty hey, high. Hey, if you can't even play it, though, you can play it now and experience the full story. Oh, oh, good. But don't worry, there's a little preview to you can remember all of it. Oh, they, they actually re one. they recap the first one. Oh, you'll see. Okay. Uh, I'm excited. Fantastic. <laughs> what? You said fantastic. He's, he's already saying well, I'm his own in, game. I'm inclined to believe him. Let's see <laughs> what he's got. You got it. He's got an orange bar. <laughs> <laughs> Previously on a... Look, all new art. Oh, hey, that sounds a little like the Doom guy, strangely. Uh -oh. uh, barbecue chicken. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> oh, it's kind of new. S wait, that oh. happened? <laughs> <in the first? laughs> well... <laughs> so he scratched himself with a rusty nail and it gave him rabies? He's just sleeping through that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this action! Just slowly walk away. It's just keep pressing really the button. Panic. Now look, now he's got a prison map, a bottle of vodka in his cell, and there's where the, and the map... The matches are now on the table, so he didn't have to do all that. Oh. So you, they retconned Arrival in Hell. Oh, no, that's just lazy. One. Now you don't figure out anything. Mm. And he just walks out. All the mystery and lore are gone. And he's got a new scar now. Hmm. Lacks deodorant. Oh, right, the deodorant. Right, yep. Oh, but in the first one, you got that from another prisoner. Right. And the matches, oh. you have to do that whole convoluted thing, but... Oh. This just shatters my whole Arrival in Hell universe. <laughs> I mean, what's there to believe? I don't know. I believe in, like, the giant eye scars. Please tell me he at least says, like, the eat this... Thank you. Yep. Thank you. That's right. So you remember the finer moments from the first game? He <laughs> did a great little overhand throw. It took his whole torso. Uh, and there's the wonderful animation. Oh, so much for this recreation zone. Nope, oh, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> there you have it. Welcome, welcome back! Oh. With a first, with achievements. <laughs> achievements? Yes. <laughs> achievements. Arrival in hell achievements. Achievement is playing the game in the first place. Oh, look, and you could be Kratos in all of these. Oh, I get it. Oh, no, he's right. got the right. All right. New all right. game. All right. This will delete your save data. Well, I'm save gonna, data. That's a risk I'm willing to take. More like new game, really. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, you can view and inspect your shiv. Good. You can light up. Condom? Light up your dildo. I don't know. Yeah, that thing is <laughs> you can, clean. You can talk to Eggman. <laughs> oh, good. Good. All right. Okay. Oh. Okay. Usable item. Here, have another there. dildo. Oh, there's collectibles here too. Oh, in case. that unlocked the backstory that you may not uh, be familiar with. You know, it's funny uh, you should say that. Anyway, we're, so in this run, all right. we're going to try to get all secret items. This run. This run. This is a 100% run? We're run 100%ing Arrival in Hell and getting all four of the secret items. Secret. <laughs> yep. Oh, boy. How uh, long did this guy, I mean, you probably don't know this, how long did this guy take to make this? Uh, I mean... To rival in hell. Let's see here. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, as that. long as it takes, basically, is the answer. Until it's done. Who knew spinal columns were that tough? Who knew spinal columns were that tough? At least they have managed to keep the same voice actor. This is true. It was the guy who created it. Oh, <laughs> that explains so much. Your guess is as good as mine. Uh -huh. The shiv. His, his, your guess is as good as his. Yeah, let's, uh, there's a broken ladder here. Leads up to the alley pad. It's fucked up, though. That's the first adventure game puzzle I've seen where it's like, it's fucked up! That's why you can't use this. There's item. no solution, no. No. Let's try to grab this guy. I don't Ooh. need these hanging corpses. I don't need these bulls these you're pointing at. These shoddy, piss-stained corpses. Just knocked over the trash can. Thank you for voice acting that, at least. Uh, this is the recreation zone. Alright, so you can cancel by clicking up here. There's no keyboard shortcut for that, so let's... Oh, nice. <laughs> a little saunter down. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a cutscene. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, what he does? Like, oh, oh! Did someone pull a string on his back for him to make that screen? Oh, it's Ridley. Oh, thank God for Ridley. There you go. 
And there's the Doom guy breathing again. Look at his eyebrow goes over the stars. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good one, too. It's pretty funny. Oh, the flying demons. Just wait till you get the punchline. It's totally worth it. <laughs> that old trope. Mm. Oh, the demon dropped his lighter, which is now in our inventory. Oh, as thank you can God. See. The yeah. dog's lighter? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's see here. So, <laughs> uh, let's see. Depends. Good. Yep. Now, let's see. There's a security door over here. All right. The card reader is broken. I need to find the pause to fix it. I know this intuitively as a prisoner. <laughs> I was good with cards. At cards. I can tell from all the way over here. <laughs> Thanks, Columbo. Now he's just gonna stand on his back. Look, just one more thing. Look at this broken ladder that the prisoners are just glued to. This ladder is broken too. Looks like some idiots tried to climb it. How? I don't know. There's, let's see, there's a fence back here. and I ain't going into that dark place for that fucking thing flying around. Leave the prison? No, no that's, that's scary. Not. Come on. What are you crazy? I oh, mean, look. you saw that dog, right? There's a blue wire, fortunately. <laughs> Just saunter over do, do, do. with a giant feet. I'm glad he still keeps his gay, gaily little walk from the first game. <laughs> try to keep track of how many items we get, by the way. Okay, I'll try. There's our funky prisoner. That half-eaten prisoner. Not half eaten, just got a little chunk taken out. Yeah, actually, your yeah. definition, and maybe you, that's why he's in prison. He's really good at fractions. There's a broken rifle. But I won't go over to do it anyway. Hmm. Well, let's look at our prison map. Oh yeah, because that it exists now. Yeah. We will never need this again. Is this a prison map or a ticket stub? <laughs> well, the best is if we look at the map then. He like walks over to where we were looking at the map. But I'm glad the kind of map this was was usable. <laughs> that's, that's good. I hate all those unusable maps. Yeah, it would just be a mess. Well, oh, there's, there's an error screen. It just says error. I think that's an error. <laughs> well, that's... Intuitive. God, did you major in computer science? Oh, hey, look, a crowbar. Yeah. And we just Mr. MIT. God. <laughs> now we is our first puzzle we're gonna solve. Remember, oh. there's a dark plate thing. Yeah. Fortunately, there's a light switch with a giant novelty <laughs> light switch on it. The searchlight. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, now we can play basketball. Hey, let's look at the head officer. Did you get disemboweled in the first game? I'm wondering if this is like a cutaway around the watchtower, or if it was like this is just broken open by the beast. <laughs> Alright. Just a really low budget prison as well. <laughs> well, let's slowly make our way. Uh, so now we're gonna go to the alley yard, I believe. Yep. Mm -hmm. There is. Right. This guy's half eaten. I don't yeah, know what, like. That's literally half eaten. I wonder where his torso went off to. <laughs> Look at his back! What is that? <laughs> it's because he got the explosion behind him from the end of the first game. Oh, it gave him a dead guinea pig on his back? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of awkward. <laughs> it's just all bloody and shit. He's going to walk around the game like that, for the record. And he pissed himself very thoroughly there, as you can see. Oh, good. A small propane tank. We'll just put that in our little... Fantastic. Fantastic. Just put that in my pants. <laughs> six, six things so far. Here's a leather bag. With a caulking gun in it. Okay. And there's empty caulk around, so whoever you somebody was trying to caulk something in a hurry. They thought it might be the monster's weakness. Right. Now we've solved this puzzle, so we can go back into the fence thing, right? Right, and play basketball. Exactly. Which is good. You're kind of right. That uh, we actually can't get this item. I don't need that net. I don't need these. This really isn't the time. Now there's a, a wall crack and a screwdriver here. Oh. Let's shut our reach. Well, obviously the screwdriver would be in the basketball court. Right, out of reach of the wall crack. Mm -hmm. We can't reach it, so we'll just have to leave. So you can't do anything in the place where you were directed to go? No. Okay. Nope, that's later. So. Good. On to uh, a shoe. Shoe. I already have a pair of shoes. He's got but do you there. have a single shoe? He, that's, he doesn't have that. Yeah, I mean. Fuck yeah. I always want he always wanted a bucket. Aluminium powder. Mixed with white paint to create a reflective surface. Okay, if you, like... The problem is if you move the mouse at all after you click, it clears the subtitle. So we can make a reflective surface here, which is, I think, what we want to do. Naturally, if Well, like, I mean, that would be my yeah, first inclination. Uh, oof. So the beast got in here, and then they boarded themselves in with the beast? <laughs> is that what's going on there? And why is the computer monitor hanging from the ceiling? <laughs> what happened here? The monsters have their own ideas of decoration. Now, there's a security pass. This is the problem with most of the game, is all these items are, like, hidden in similarly in, colored like, single, backgrounds. single pixel spaces, pretty right. much. Right. Yeah. There's a, there's a bloody mop. I don't need a whole mop. The 
I know can be useful though. Okay, this is complete bullshit for the record. But we oh. so let's let's gotta get that mop. But we can't use the whole mop, so let's just take the shiv and saw off the mop. Right. And we keep the handle. Right. Because I, with that propane tank and all those other things we're uh, collecting, you know, space is getting kind of limited. Yeah, really. So you can't have the mop head. I'll no. Think. Kind of silly. I've like collected all these items, I haven't used them yet. And here's the all important animate pulling off the boards. <laughs> Good. Oh, oh, please tell me he does the third one. Yes. Yep. Well, they, they saved you some time there, and he hit. Now he's just staring at me. <laughs> Pretty impressed, aren't you? Yeah, with my bloody back. Alright. Isn't that the, where you. N no, that's just. Even that's... though it's the exact same shape with the same exact glow. <laughs> There's a huge fire right here, off screen, where you can't see it, off camera, and a party. It's the most beautifully rendered fire. Um, there's a couple items we need in here. Okay. Like a uh, mop head. Like a oh. Ziploc bag. There, I'm going to move away. Do you see it now? It's right there. That's the Ziploc bag yeah, that you need to get to complete this game. I can clearly game. see that. Thank you. Okay. And then the other thing is flypaper. So, <laughs> oh yeah, flypaper. Now, here's the cool thing: we can take the flypaper and combine it with the mop handle. Sure. No, to get a ratminator stick. What? Ratminator. Ratminator stick. Uh huh. Yup. Now with our ratminator stick, we can just slowly stroll through the body. Got the do worst do posture do. I've ever seen. Oh look, wait! Here's another item we can get. Uh. Aluminium powder. Oh. Take that. We have like a million fucking items. We haven't used anything yet. So, let's see here. Now we can reach that screwdriver in the basketball court. Right. Right. It's, you know, it's all starting to make sense now. <laughs> Fortunately, they animated this. Woohoo. Blood. Blood. Screwdriver. Got it. Yeah. That's, <laughs> I can't see any of that, but I just knew. So now you've got a mop with ratinator and a screwdriver on the end of it. He uses a weapon. I wonder what this guy. Whatever. What, yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah. I wonder what he's thinking, like internally, like with his monologue. Man, I'm really fucking crazy. No wonder I went to prison. What the hell am I doing? This is like something out of a shitty flash game. <laughs> Why are they making me do this? What's with those giant bugs? Crawly piston flash game. <laughs> so, the card <laughs> reader was broken on that side, right? But here's a working card reader. Uh -huh. So we take our screwdriver. Oh, you take the parts from the working one. No, we take the whole thing from the working one. <laughs> oh. And we're going to animate each and every screw to... Like, come on, dude, really? We had to do all this? He's just showing off at this point. <laughs> it's like, I, I had a lot of free time. I just yeah. want you to know. I'm going to show you all the things that I could have done in Arrival in Hell 1, but just didn't have the guts to do. Hey, what's in here? I ain't going in there with a beast in that room. Oh, the beast is in there? How do you know that? Fuck. Sounds like another beast is behind that door. All right, well, there we are. It's something about the ambience, really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't want to show the beast right away, is the mm -hmm. thing. Okay, yeah. so so fortunately we're an electrical genius. And let's just, wait, no, let's, uh, let's take our card reader. Let's take all your items and throw them against each other on the ground. It'll make something. Doesn't look like it's working. So let's just attach a blue wire to the card reader. And that somehow did it. Oh. Right, that's the ready card reader. Don't. Why are you walking over there? Okay, fine. This guy needs big clown shoes. Because I clicked there in my inventory. Oh. <laughs> well, okay, I'm just gonna look in here and yeah, red man, wire. What the hell? If yeah, it's yeah, like a puzzle right. piece, why the hell not? Why not? Yeah, it works. Makes sense. And we'll use our security guard card on the card reader. Look at that! Now he fixed this whole thing. He's like, wait, now how does this card? Work? I mean, is this really plausible? <laughs> I guess so. All right, that works. Uh, uh -oh. My head's being blocked by... <laughs> what the hell is what, that? What is wrong with you, lady? And your proportions. You look like a board. Like, literally. I don't think that's how you hold a sniper gun. All right, let's talk. Is that a shotgun with a sniper scope? Stop right there. It's a sniper's rifle with the shear tool put on it, so it's a little <laughs> off-kilter. I'm Mag. My husband was the warden here. Cutscene. Oh, boss. <laughs> it was. That's really Some interesting. <laughs> it's all the dialogue I can muster. Are you pulsating? Yes, it was crazy. I've been trying to get out of here for a while. Just tape worm in me eye. It just hovers there. Yeah, that's gross. 
even if we knew how to get out, those beasts will rip us to shreds if they see us. See what? They ain't so tough. They rammed a can of deodorant down one of them's throat and say a lie. It tasted like chicken. <laughs> what? Yeah, Why would you say that to someone? Tell I'm, a a I'm a look around here for a whale. If I find a way. Who are you smiling? I like you. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be my love interest even though your husband's dead? Oh, if you stop by Sector B, would you mind looking in cell 64? I dropped my insulin. Finally, he listened to my comments from the first game. <laughs> Head through the working area. If you could put a rush on it, that'd be great. Put a rush on it? Was he looking at, is that fourth wall? Bollocks? Is that where you have the goofy sitcom music play? <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next episode of Bollocks. <laughs> we'll be right back with more Arrival in Hell 2. <laughs> Alright, so let's let's grab a sniper's rifle and... Uh, Stop right there. What? She won't let us take it anymore. Oh, we're going this way. Alright, because... Oh, <laughs> Anyway, anyhow, oh look, a feast. A feast. <laughs> Let's get it. Same reaction as the guns. <laughs> well, it's okay. There's a, there's a fire extinguisher up here on the top of the bookshelf. Of course. Oh, you didn't need a pole arm to get it. That's impressive. No, he's just all good, and he's all bloody. Like he's turning and walking away. Like, Yo, I'll get your insulin. <laughs> all right, so. Boy, my upper back hurts. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> anyway. Now for the fire. I've had some insulin, it'll make it feel better. Are you ready for some of the best special effects you've ever seen in a oh, flash? Oh, I'm ready. Oh my god. Is this gonna be the most realistic looking insulin we've ever seen? I think he's just walking on people's- <laughs> He's just walking over <laughs> the foreground now. He's oh. walking very carefully, but he's still being very rude. <laughs> Alright, fire extinguisher plus fire. <laughs> fire. Look at the smoke, too. Wow. Why couldn't he have just done this off camera like the rest of the fire was? Look at him! He's like hunched over like an old man! Well, that's the wool crack. Turns to the camera again. Bollocks! <laughs> Shrugs really hard. We'll be back with a rival in hell too. Special guest. Look, a wooden stick like we have. Oh. And there's a greasy rag, which you have to get, which is like this purple thing, like right... Yeah, thanks. Right. I don't know, I think it's the... There's a hand. And what like, about that table saw? Look at that, I think the hand has six fingers, I'm not sure, but... Hmm. We're like the thumb in the back. Whatever. Yeah. There's a table saw we right. can't get. Iron oxide powder. Oh, good thing we have a Ziploc bag. Wait, you mean like your unlimited space in your jumpsuit? Now, why are we getting iron oxide powder? I don't know. Why, slow beef? I don't know either. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. We open this drawer. L sticks like shit adhesive. Mm, but sensor, please. We have like. I know you with this game, right? Yeah, like, I mean, haven't they been dropping. Yeah. Which we can combine with our caulking gun for no reason. All right, thanks for well, that. But you did censor shit that time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Make it's up. it's the brand they censor it. Mm -hmm. the of course. I'm just gonna keep opening the door because this can only get better. I mean, we what is <laughs> the same <laughs> shot you used before? <laughs> oh my god! Now we have to figure out how to hold the door closed. Oh, it, it's oh, closed. Okay. okay. On, That's okay, though. We'll, we'll make sure. We're going to glow it. Okay. Uh. <laughs> this. This. <laughs> um. And look at that. It's all backwards. Like, he did, like, the little shear oh, reverse yeah. tool for the other side of the caulking gun. <laughs> oh, but we're going to leave a little space at the bottom because. Uh, it's okay because he did all four sides. Okay. Yeah. But we're not done yet. Somehow. So, what happens if you don't solve that? Puzzle? Nothing. He stays in there forever. So it's, uh, so it's optional? No, yeah. Well, no, no, because we're going to figure, we're going to kill him with the caulking gun. Now we're going to caulk the entire vent grate. Oh, you're going to suffocate him? No. Okay. okay. What? Now we're going to take the propane tank. Oh, okay. And use it in the, in the, in the... Sealed vent. Yeah. In the sealed vent. Okay. Now, we're gonna co How convoluted is this? Where's the insulin coming to this? What do you think is gonna happen next? <coughs> um. Alright, we're just gonna light, light the greasy. Yeah. Light the greasy. We're gonna use the greasy rag on the sealed wall so that the greasy rag is. Jesus Christ. Uh, can we have just. Uh, done. We used like all like 20 of our fucking items on this bullshit. And you still have like a good half dozen left. I know. There's some realistic fire, yeah. It's a giant. That simple lighter's the size of his hand. So kind of a pansy run there, yeah. Ew, fire. <laughs> well, 
Well, I've had trouble with explosions. I've been bleeding out the back this whole game. <laughs> now, you probably didn't see it, but there is one frame of animation. I'll tell you about it in a bit. Okay. So here's the beast's bod, body, whatever. Right. And here's the stomach. Which you can take. I don't want to imagine what's inside that thing. So let's use our shiv on it to cut inside it. Let's see if it lives up to my imagination. <laughs> I want to imagine what's inside of it. I want to see for myself. It sounds really cool. So we're going to saw that open. Just reach in his stomach, which, right. by the way, he was a burning beast, and right. we get a circular saw. Of course. Right. That, now, that was going to be my first guess. If you're really watching that scene where he opens the door, there's like one frame where you see a circular saw that he swallows for like no reason. <laughs> it's just for this puzzle. Like, so we're gonna so use... you're expected to see him swallow that and know that he has it in his stomach. Right. Oh, right. So there's a secret door down here. Of, of course. Right, absolutely. Right, so we're going to use our crowbar for this. For, to, to knock over these shattered tiles. <laughs> Good thing I have a crowbar for this for this delicate work. <laughs> Could have Go, broken something. Got to get the right tools for the right job. Am I bleeding from the back? There's the master blade. That was a great special Good. sound effect. Yeah. Sounds like yeah. a dying animal. He's just staring at us like, why are we doing this? Pretty convoluted, ain't it? Oh... Oh, okay. Empty test blood tube. So it looks like some prisoner summoned them here. Could this be the blood he used to create the markings from the ID badges? Okay, you're a little ahead of me here, obviously. Uh, What's here's... that dead hedgehog on your back thing? It looks like a trapped in. Trapped in what? That giant tunnel? How did that happen? <gasps> I'm stuck. Oh, look, this place is held up by paint cans. <laughs> it really is, though. That's the pillars. Well, Peters. The blood splat to the warden's badge. Strange. All right. It's not strange, it's just kind of stupid. More strange blood splatters on the badges. This could be useful. More strange blood splatters on the Alright. Alright. Alright, whatever. So now let's look at all these. Now here. knock over the paint cans. Strange. Hmm. Alright, whatever. They're all three of them are like that, so. Let's go through the secret door that leads to some other cell the that hell? was like this, apparently. <laughs> Look on the right. Oh, the burner, the glutton. Wait, don't take what's not yours. It's like you should be rotting in these hells. Oh, okay. And that's how we learn the true meaning of Christmas. Right. Now we're trapped up here. Oh, you can't get out. Do what I do, become like. Wait, become like me or die here. Uh huh. Looks like I have to do something crazy to get out of this. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to run around circles. Yeah. Like, I killed the other guy in that first game for no reason. Still walking pretty casually about the whole thing, though. All right, we're going to get the Necroalchemy book. Necroalchemy. Right. Oh, here's some blank papers. Now, for the first secret item, if you combine... Wait, this is the first secret item? Yep. We're going to combine... There are four in this long-ass game? Yep. We're going to oh combine the lighter with the papers to make this. Dear Elena, this is Kalingo Hunnic Cell. You don't need to get this. This is bullshit. If you guys want to read it, who cares? It's stupid. Yeah... Yeah, so he's in love with someone. Who cares? Anyway, there's there there are test tubes full of blood here, which is good that they have that in prison. That's, it makes sense. So, and look, a female badge. <gasps> right. Now, what do you think we have to do to get out of this cell? Um, yeah. <laughs> we put the blood on her badge so it looks like the blood on the other badges? So yeah, and we put it in a, in a jail cell-like shape. Oh, my God. Right. <laughs> and then we then any idea what we do here? <laughs> oh, let's try reading that neuroalchemy book. <laughs> this shit can't be real, can it? Hmm. That's it. Nothing. Oh. All right. If anyone would like to play this game and verify for yourself what I'm about to do has no fucking clue leading to it, don't. Okay. Hmm. We're gonna combine the badge with the neuroalchemy book. What the fuck? Uh. Looks like now it's alive. Evil combination. Now we're gonna combine that with the bars. Oh. Oh, right, right, right. Right, I'm sorry. First, we have to pour the blood on the bars. Of course. Right. Every single bar, I hope. Just just four. Mm. Just enough to give us an accurate... Right, you know, he's like, <laughs> yeah, I'll, i got to really cover that four. I mean, I gave bar. a little bit of weight, so... Oh, now there's, now there's five. <laughs> Wait. Oh, my God, my back's really in bad shape. God. <laughs> All right. Now... I'll just speak in a language I don't know. Yeah, alright. Well, I'm so glad that's... the dark powers can lip read. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk back here. 
Now it's dark as fuck. Yeah, you're not supposed to be able to see. Okay. So we're going to lift up the trash can. And now you can see. And then all the <laughs> items in it just stay there. <laughs> they right. don't move at all. Unfortunately, we don't have... They're packed in there. Now, normally we'd be able to light something, like any of these flammable items. Right, but no go? Well, let's, let's see what happens here. Are you out of fluid, or is it possessed by evil? It just doesn't look like it's working, oh. okay? Well, fortunately, there's another cell over here. Oh, no, that's what we just left. Now, according to the map, which I'm not going to check, because fuck this game. Uh, is there another map around here? Wait, maybe. What's the glowing thing in the trash can? There's a glowing thing in the I trash can. I thought I saw can. something flash. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Nope. What? There's something or other. Good thing we have the walkthrough open. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. God, I barely made any progress. Um, okay. Oh, well. All right, so move over to cell 64. Okay. Uh, maybe it's through here? Is that the Are idea? you getting the insulin now? Yeah, this is cell 64. You could, you could look at it on the map if you don't believe me. But anyway, under this guy's mattress, there's a cocaine stash. Nice. And a Persian rug. Hmm. Those are common in prisons. And vodka. We'll just take that. Common in prisons. Right, an ergonomic toilet. Nice. And rat posters. With big butts. 60 cents? Yeah, 60 cents. Really? And aces, ass, aces in my ass. It's spelled wrong, but whatever. So, what do you think we should do here to find the insulin? I'm um, guessing look under the Persian rug. No, I'm afraid that's uh, correct. incorrect. Oh. No, we combine the lighter with the shiv to heat up the shiv. <laughs> And then, no, don't walk that way, because the wax wall is over on the left. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, I'm not, obviously. I don't know how else to describe what's happening. I just haven't spent enough time in prison, I guess. No. Neither have I. And we're going to animate all of this, this, this. No, don't cut through LAPs. No, not through Lil Way. Not through Lil... Oh, good, no, you're not doing it, even okay. though it was clearly in the last frame. It's right. really that delicate of an operation. And I think I'm going to steal this 60 cent post. <laughs> yeah, I do oh, good work. 60 cents got a bad case of chicken pox. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we open that up, and there's more cocaine, even though there was tons under his thing, and, uh... Oh, yeah, insulin. Oh, in the... What's the insulin in? <laughs> a petri dish? It's, it's a... Insulin. Insuline, mm. and it's in a little compact. This is how insulin is stored it for is. diabetics. It's that's I'm true, assuming. actually. No, that is absolutely one hundred percent true. He did his research very well. Hmm. It's it's that lasses insulin. Wait. I and also, insulin is packed like Mentos. I should get it back to her. All right. So we combine the screwdriver with the insulin to get. A junkie. Fuck, this is messed up. Oh man, a junkie. That's the second secret item. Man, that is even worse than Monsters from Hell. <laughs> I know, really. Oh. Drug use? In no. prison? No. What the fuck, man? I thought I'd seen it all. <laughs> is it ever since I've arrived in hell you can't trust anyone? <laughs> so now we, we need to light this place up. So let's use our vodka in the trash can mm -hmm. and light the vodka. Oh, but we'll take a swig yeah. first. Now, flammable, vod flammable liquid that you're drinking will probably not be good for you, but are a badass prisoner. It works for me. What was, what was that? Oh, he's, now he's conjuring fire. <laughs> oh, hey, it's it's a guy from the previous game. Chuppa. I thought everyone died in the previous game. No, he was an insane prisoner. This is gonna be really annoying. Hey, you all messed up. Are you on yeah. drugs? <laughs> We just get this over with. Now the good news is this time we don't have to do any stupid conversation. Just give me the item. Give me the shovel so I can get all this play-doh off my back. <laughs> this is really this is really a pain in the ass, honestly. Kind of a weird looking arm there. Give Okay, this is really getting on my nerves. What the heck do? Oh yeah, here we go. What you got to give me? <laughs> Something better. Yeah. You want to know how legends? Oh god. Here what? You go. Who knows? He's gonna give us a tip, a gameplay tip. Oh. Oh, yeah. this is the creator of the game. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh. 
This is... Oh, uh, the Ridley can't yeah, see. No, right. So, don't make any noise unlike we've been doing throughout the entire game. Right. Okay, can we end this horrible yeah. cut? God, this is what I better remember that. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good thing to kind of file away there. Uh, this doesn't sound that important. No. God almighty, this game is awful. All right, uh, now that we've got a sh half of a shovel. Next. Hey, there's a crow in our, uh, on our, let's just dig it. Mm. All right. You so. couldn't do that by hand? <laughs> no, it's like three little rocks. All right, and this leads. No, I need leverage. <laughs> I got to make this clean and neat, okay? This is to be the best looking hole the warden's Other ever seen. Otherwise, I'm no better than the drug users. <laughs> Oh, he couldn't have just walked me out of there. What is he doing in the... Never mind. Uh, let's not yeah, ask. Good. Goodbye. <clears throat> now, oh, good. We're back here. Right. Now that we've got this bitch's, uh... Shovel? Thank you. Insulin? Insulin. Yeah. We're gonna give her her insulin. Please, just give her. There we go. Go your regimen. <laughs> Quote, unquote. <laughs> Thank you so much. I need that to live, thanks. I don't know why I left it in the cell. In the whack of the wall up in the cell. Use that. <laughs> what? I just got word that my husband's pilot is at the helipad on the roof. He just managed to land, but he needs fuel and a GPS. GPS? <laughs> what? How did he get You're here? Kidding. How did he lose those? Yeah, how do you lose fuel in your helicopter? What the hell if I know? <laughs> God damn it! Block Don't question the hell rival of cannon! <laughs> What's the matter with you? Oh, you have some brilliant plan to help me find those conveniently obscure items then, do you? Consult a walkthrough. The fuel and GPS can be found in the warehouse. Oh. Fantastic. I've been saying that all day. But, the door is jammed from that explosion you caused earlier. How did I do that? Fuck. <laughs> they needed a close-up for that. Right. More reaction shots than rival You should be able to blow the door. There should be plenty of stuff you can find around in the working area in prison. We gotta make an explosion now. How do you know all this? Prisons what have so many explosive-making materials, though. Yep. Mm. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Diabetics only. <laughs> Alright, so now we have to make an explosion to get the gas and the GPS for the pile hit. Which would attract the attention of the blind monster. Unfortunately, <sighs> damn it. I mean, it was tight. All right, so here's the deal: we have iron oxide uh -huh. and aluminum powder. Let's do some science. Is that what the description says? Yes. So you know what happens when we combine iron oxide with aluminum powder? It explodes. I don't know. I don't either, actually. <laughs> it apparently what it does is it makes thermite. 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 Thermite compound of aluminium and iron oxide. I think it needs to be in a sturdy container. I'm majored right. in chemistry, so <laughs> I know that. <laughs> That's what I'm in prison for. Excellent chemistry. <laughs> I just need a fuse. Almost ready to do some science. Now, fortunately, she gave us a fuse. I see you didn't have to actually go collect anything. No. So now we're going to take our our fused thermite. Thermite was made by the Acme Corporation, wasn't it? To the it? melted door. That ju we're just gonna lay it on there, the, this crinkle. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna saunter away. Ew, get away from the nasty explosion. <laughs> the nasty explosion. It actually helped cauterize this horrible wound on my back. <laughs> now, how are we gonna find... Oh, come on. A good game to play. <laughs> oh, look, uh, gas and GPS in one item on the right. <laughs> Thank God. I've never found a GPS fuel that we're in all in it's one. It's got a helicopter on it. Like, this gasoline is specific. Oh, look, there's something <laughs> in this... Label. There's something in this air vent, though. It looks like a... Huh, what the hell? Look at, uh, maybe we should use the... We should the remove GPS. this air vent. Why are we removing this air vent, you ask? Well, look, items. Oh, wow, picks. Wow. The diary man. Man of my dreams. And contact lenses. <laughs> yeah, just what the <laughs> hell is that about? <laughs> and they're huge. What's with contact lenses? Yeah, These belong to some anime guys characters. Pain the ass. I think I can use him. I've got him ready for some pointless. Pointless, like getting the things we need to leave. <laughs> Hopefully he'll just die. I'm tired of playing 
<laughs> I'm speaking I really loud. It's I'll just... use defense in a few minutes and come meet me. Okay. She's not even diabetic, very, very I knew it. Exactly three minutes. Got it? Oh, this is actually timed in real time? No. Oh. This, there's the subtlety, like, wow. there's only one female character in one. Okay, so she put it... Bitch. That, comma, bitch. What, is, what are all these items? Love letters. Looks like there is more to this bitch. She is now known, by the way, in this game as this bitch. Oh, good. That's a new thing. So anyway, let's let's get her gas and GPS. Mm -hmm. That bitch. Mm -hmm. Burp. All right. Now we're gonna get back to her. How long was the first arrival in Hell Game? Like no, like one third of this. I have no fucking idea. Even that much. Like, now, fortunately, uh, she's digging here, so we can take her radio. I thought she was lying on her desk for a second. No, we got her radio now. We try to talk to her, or anything like. Whatever. <laughs> All, right, All right, so okay. we can't get any sort of meaningful. Hey, a rope. Hey, okay. we'll just take that, I suppose. The helicopter dropped it. Hello. Hey, remember the thing can hear you? Oh, I guess we're forgetting that now. No, who cares? What does it matter? You need this crap, right? I'm sending out the delivery shaft. Oh, All right, it's the delivery shaft. Right. Uh, where's Magda? <laughs> I totally don't have your voice. What that bitch? bitch. Uh. <laughs> Delivery shaft. <laughs> what the hell are you? What is this stuff you said to me? <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't need any of it. What? Yeah, that's why I wanted it hit me in the head. I didn't need it. I'm good to go. Well, apparently that's what it though. Magda? <laughs> I'm just gonna pull She's up my not blue. Uh. What? What? <laughs> hey, you're taking my rope stick. Whoa! I'm gonna catch myself. What? It screwed me over. All right. Okay. It's time for arrival in hell ending one. So we're. Oh, gonna, okay. We're gonna combine. This is where the player's choices make all the difference. Right. <laughs> we're gonna make a grappling hook out of a rope and a crowbar. Okay. Yeah. Well, how else would you make a grappling hook besides like every other way? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna use the grappling hook on the broken ladder. Remember the flying creature? Mm-hmm. That doesn't ever come into play again. <laughs> well, that's over with. Okay, good. So. <laughs> oop. 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 Yeah. Uh, good thing it's a silent grappling hook. <laughs> Even though I was hanging off a ledge before, I'm just going to stand by the helicopter. Pretty casual about it. Yeah, you know, whatever. One of my hands is oh, wider than the other, so that's okay. Good, you still here. Not as cow of you before I stick this shit in your neck. Where is Magda? <laughs> that bitch. Broken record. Yes, um, that is my name. John Broken Record. Shut up and fly the fuck out of here. She got keto acidosis. You don't have to curse. That's huh? it? Yeah, that's it. That's ending one. Okay. Origi this is the originals. Two people wrote this. Two? Look how he's still, like, standing in the helicopter. There's a seat, dude. This is how you sit down, right? <laughs> that guy was kind of a dick. I'll remember that always. Thanks, Eduardo. Arrival in hell, too. Oh, hey, there's the shaky, crazy guy. Yep. What was he doing again? Nothing. He was just right. doing the same animation he was doing in his prison cell. <laughs> so I'm guessing this game lets you go back and get the other endings. Oh, yeah, yeah, we don't have to, yeah. We don't have to do the whole thing again. Thank, thank God. God. Yeah. Yep. Well, we have to show off the rest of this brilliant masterpiece. Right. Open ended bonanza. Right, exactly. <laughs> you have done you have all this. Phone me. all this. Oh, done all Right. Makes more sense. Now, there is a complex story to dead, uh, to um, Arrival in Hell, oh, too. Yeah. The complex stories that actually had beta tests. <laughs> yes, all four of them. Yeah. Who, were, I guess, were friends, <laughs> I suppose. Who were all one person. Yay for Rusty Arcade. It wasn't even produced by a human being. What? She shot herself. Well, good thing she had a scope on that thing, or she might have missed. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. The end. The Th end? This is a romantic ending. It was romantic. I mean, there is that. You, most of my romances in You heard like him that. say 94 quotes. Uh, so I got Kalinga, Magda's Little Secret and Kalinga's Farewell. Okay! Uh, that just makes my heart Fantastic. fill. Yep. Now, it's uh, a little confusing if you well, want to play this game. Like, you might be like, well, isn't this just starting over? But if you hit continue game, you start right, I think, right before you. The branching the... points, okay. Yeah. And 
Oh, good. Oh, finally. Thank God. I was needing a wedding dress this by tomorrow. Is, this is good targeting, really. Thank God. I've been wanting to play a wedding dress game. Who's your after? target audience for Arrival in Hell? Um, <laughs> young, about to be married women. <laughs> I, need a, I need kind of a palate cleanser after Arrival in Hell, too. If you could. All right, so this time around, we're going to get the other ending by saving Chupa. Okay. The crazy guy, because that has been a good friend to us for two games now. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, absolutely. We don't want to just leave him hanging. That's Chupa, the most annoying character in any video mm -hmm. game. That probably won't go down. What won't? Uh, Do you need to use an item? I don't know. Uh, do I have the? I have the grappling hook. Hmm. Uh, let's get the second ending. Once you pick up the pilot's radio. Pilot's radio. You don't have that, do you? I think I have that. Is that right up here? Oh, it's Magda's radio. Yeah, the pilot dropped his separately. Oh, uh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I forgot about that. So we go back. Now this can't be a perfect run. Well, but here's the problem because. Now that we got the pilot's radio, this is what's going to happen. We're going to have a crafty plan here. We're going to turn the radio to three. Uh huh. Put it in our bag. Uh huh. Pick up Magda's radio. Put that to three. Uh huh. He's really obsessed with Magda. And that's on three, too. No! Oh, my God. But we'll never find out what that means until the next ending. Good things come in threes. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. He's going he's gonna to use that somehow to his advantage. And there he is. Oh, he's, he's outside down. now. How did he do that? He dug out with his magic digger. How's the digger? His magic digger. Ah, this is such bullshit. Please just... Yeah. Yeah, grab my hand. Grab my hand? Take my hand, Chupa. We're out of here. This is the bad ending, right? No. This is, uh... I mean, you saved this guy. It has to be. <laughs> oh, look. It's Ridley. And they remembered. <laughs> hey, he made a sound. Yeah, Come on. God. You don't even remember how to... Be consistent with your storyline conventions. Now, how are we going to get out of here? Oh, look. We have a new item suddenly. Easter Island mucus head? Mucus statue. What? Yeah, thanks. Oh, secret item. Right, so that's great. Uh, so that's, that's our three, se that's three of the four secret items. So has, oh, you... Unfortunately, the secret items unlock something, so we're not just doing this to be like, hey, we 100 at Arrival in Hell too. okay? Oh, it unlocks more to do in the game? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Just like a quick... Thank, thank God. Yeah, no, quick, quick thing. Okay. Yeah, no. That that's... I can live with. Yeah. This is, yeah, because this is getting a little old, frankly. Yeah. Come on, Arrival in Hell, too. Fly this thing. Here, take this Look, now he can fly? <laughs> Why did he need him before in the other ending, then? Well, he didn't yeah. use the Necro book. <laughs> do -do -do. <laughs> hey, I'm just going to sit here while you're pushing me in the What's this behind me? I don't feel the need to put up much resistance here. I'm going to no. see what he's going to do. Exactly. And now we're pretty much going to see the same thing with one with one major exception, one strange, if you will, exception. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Neither can I. <sighs> Error. All right. All right. And there's Richard Routes, the male voices. That's all of them. This time we're flying. We're a helicopter pilot. Of course. Right. Bloody pissed helicopter pilot. Once again, though, the demon will not come into play. Right. Right. And there's... And the lady still kills herself? No. Oh. Nope, not this time. This time she... Kills him? No. Uh... This time she... No, she doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's all four of the beta testers. I know one of the beta testers is Richard Rout, who did the voices. <laughs> I think wrote it, too. I hope he was paid well. <laughs> oh, uh, go... No, no. Yep, that's it. She, she's just gone. She's just not there. Okay. Yep. Um, we'll, we'll never find out what the three meant. This is the <laughs> friendship ending. Aww. Now, this time around, we're going to see Rusty. Fantastic. Fantastic, yes. No, it's not. Okay, now we're going to have load another ad. Oh, good, it skipped it. So anyway, continue. <sighs>
this time now, we've got both radios. They're both tuned to three. Yeah. How are we going to use this to our advantage? Is that him in the background? Yeah. Well, that's weird. I shouldn't be there. But whatever. It's okay, because now we're going to get our revenge on Magda for saying she wanted us killed. For being a bitch. Right. For being that bitch. So we're going to take Magda's radio, which is now set to three. That's the important thing. Right, and the mucus statue. And put it oh. up on here. Where she can't reach it? I have to go look for something. I'll be back in a second, then we'll get out of here. Okay. <laughs> do, do, do. Uh oh. It's on six now. <gasps> now, what's gonna happen? <laughs> well, I did all the voices, though. <laughs> <laughs> It's not too much of a stretch. Oh, I left it up here. Oh, oh God, yeah. Trying to that, totally, the that totally sounds like the pilot. Huh. Look wistfully at this photograph of the prisoner that I loved and who was a Satanist. Mm-hmm. A new magic. It's a conflict who of I, interest there. Who I changed my hair color for mm. and my contact lenses. I'm just gonna walk here with my sniper's rifle. Right. Did you shut off your Where are you? There? Oh, you bastard, you f <laughs> <laughs> What? Yeah. <laughs> we sure got her by... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you have to get you. <laughs> yeah, now I'm just gonna hide in here. Now, the thing's right outside, so we're gonna have to take Magnus, Magnus cruise tickets. <laughs> and negotiate those for your release <laughs> with the monster. Right? That is the final secret item. So Kalinga and her were gonna run away together. So she was in love with the Satanist prisoner. Mm. We're gonna climb through the vent, go back through this thing. Chupa is now gone oh. forever. Oh, sorry. And uh, we're gonna use our grappling hook for the last time on the broken ladder. Now that we've established we can fly, you might ask, why do we need the pilot? I would. I would too. But in this ending, he can't fly. I guess. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah. I guess. A lot I guess only his crazy friend would give him the confidence. A lot can change depending on the choices that you, the player, make. <laughs> wow, this is interactive. Yeah. Could you still you? Not as gal of you before I stick this shit in your neck. Do we have to talk about well, this all over Magda. again? Yes, this ending didn't happen to you. Broken record. I killed Magda with but a demon. I'm not clear how I did up, that or how it worked, but it was a good plan. Here we go. I see what I did was I set everything to three, but hers to six. Concept and idea is blank. <laughs> Original story blank. Richard Rout. Oh, he was one of the beta tests. What do you know? <laughs> no, you can't do that. You yourself can't be a beta tester. Yeah. Well, oh, at least the art and the animation guy was different. Good job, Eduardo Mojica. Not really. No. It's, it's good well, job on that I mean, walk. Yeah, yeah, I can see. I mean, I can see that that was a basketball court. There is that. Right, I'm just gonna practice my balancing here. <laughs> You know we have a seat. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is more exciting. <laughs> so, I guess there won't be an arrival in Hell 3. No, this pretty much closes up every possible loose end. Right. Except for, you know, the monster and... Everything. Everything. Yeah. Well, at least now we know... Oh, Chupa. Chupa. No, that's not him. That's the other guy. Oh. Chupa's around somewhere. Oh, wasn't that him right there? No, no, no. He, there was a different headless guy before. That's how we got into the pimp guy's cell. Uh, You'll see it. Uh, don't, don't worry about okay. it too much. Oh. That's two guys. Arrive right. Val. Two hey, yeah, he spelled his own game title wrong. Well, that's what happens when you're the beta tester for your own game. This is a selfish ending, even though it's the hardest to get. Now, look, we got all four items. Secret room. Uh. This is it. Timeline of events. <laughs> Chupa steals a truckload of deodorant and drive it into a police officer's house from a cliff. It's funny. Uh-huh. Two years ago, Magda and Klingon meet in an annual staff meeting. Now, he's a fucking prisoner. Why is he in the staff? Well, the Satanist prisoners get their own union. <laughs> they all soon fall in love, like, hello. Say, I so, think you and me kind of have something in common. I think there's a future here for us, even though. You're arrested on false charges of manslaughter. And your hair was different. Two months ago, Tess, one of, Tess, one of his beasts, kills 32 prisoners... Just one guard knew the truth about the incident. But he didn't feel like telling anybody. <laughs> nah, that's fine. Yeah. A week ago, they they <laughs> got they got first So wait, the first... all right, I know these demon things are going on, but how about you and me <laughs> treat ourselves good, huh? Yeah, right. Twelve hours ago, this all started. Ten hours ago, you at Arendabarabal Hall one. Right. Three hours ago, this is Kalenga's doing. 
But to escape with the how did this help him escape with the warden's wife? Like, why not just escape? Yeah. Like, can we have some demons too? Uh, oh. Yeah, a real, movie uh, is made about your story. You're played by Jason Statham. Yeah, I wouldn't count on nah, that. Richard. Nah, <laughs> that's that's not that's not gonna happen. So is that all the endings? That's all the endings. Okay. That's all three endings. All four secret items. Mm. Play the first with achievements. I no, think thank no, you. and thank you. You know. Well. <laughs> Heck of a sequel there. Oh, yeah, the reviews. I suppose. Ten! Help! I have the aluminum powder! What? I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. Ten! Ten! Ten. Ten. Cool! This was way... Wait, oh, let's not reveal that six set. This was way better than the first. But I had to use the walkthrough. Man, it was hard. So while there were a few flaws, this game was perfect in every way. I don't... Make a third one! It was scary as hell! It wasn't. Oh, Lord. Six. Oh, this looks like an actual, like, plausible well, critical review. He's, like, tempering it, though. Like, let me start by saying it's better than the first one. Uh, uh difficult more hand built fans. The second voice acting is unconvincing. Well, because one guy did the whole thing, probably. It doesn't have enough emotion. Well. Well, you need to have emotion when you're in prison. I could not believe the vo guy I'm playing as really understands the situation. That's more the writing. Wait, and you're, you're questioning the psychology <laughs> of the characters? <laughs> yes, he is. In Arrival in Hell. That's amazing. Graphics are just fine. Suits the atmosphere. This is really required Stanislavski style acting. Method acting really is the way to go. Yeah, Dere Dereliction's got, a, got his eye on the ball here. Wow, this is much better. One of the first things I noticed was the watch tower. The romantic that one was probably the best. <laughs> <I'm> sure. <laughs> I mean, mighty, really. Kind the competition's of, stiff. Look at this, look at this. Like, if going to those famous reveal, I probably didn't see it. Kind of tired after getting all the endings and secret items. Well, you were done. Was, yeah, I mean, you know. Uh, let's see. Uh. <laughs> nice, XX. Takes a long-ass time to load, but this game is cool, XX. X. Was he dead? <laughs> is that what this game come? killed me. <laughs> I have indeed arrived in hell, too. People, people <laughs> is a 10. People thought that was useless, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Let's see. Well, users who like this also enjoyed meat and fuck game. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call new grounds meetings where people like come to meet together in one place. Oh, okay, that meat fuck kingdom. <laughs> That's actually the staff meeting that Magda and Colango got together at. <laughs> Okay. It's uh, one of the lesser-known Disney attractions. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! That would be ten times. But look, then they're dental boys. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Well, these wrong? guys like to meet and fuck, and they like really gross shit, but they keep their hygiene. Okay? Right, yeah, you know. I mean, they're not totally disgusting. <laughs> I do love the Princess Peach. I got this toothache. They like Professor weird. Layton Part 6. I gotta find that. Wait a minute, what? Pool. I gotta find out what dental appointment is, just real quick. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> dental. <laughs> By Ed's World. What the? Dental appointment. <laughs> well, I, pray to, I pray to God this is literally a dental appointment somehow. <laughs> I'm not going to wait for this to load down a dental appointment. Uh, well, um, well, do we learn arrival, anything from all that? From Arrival in Hell 2? Yeah. Or from the uh, whole... It was both parts? It was better than Arise 2. Well. Uh, Mr. Edwards? Just have a seat over there. Shut up. Anyway, alright, that's Arrival <laughs> in Hell 2. Watch dental appointment for yourself, kids. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> that was awful. Wow. 